Hi guys, um, so I'm going to work for you all the January 2021 paper 3 question 1, right? Um, I know a lot of you all had problems doing this particular question and especially for those of you who are doing it privately, this paper can be very tricky for you guys, alright? So, alright, um, so let's look at the first question here. So the first question here, um, it was a measurement question. So they said, um, the diagram below shows a container of length 3E. So this is my length of the container. Um, the cross section of the container is an equilateral triangle. So if it's an equilateral triangle, it means that that length is E, this is also E, and this is also E, right? Um, right, and perpendicular height each, right? So I think in a second diagram, right, so they gave you an enlarged diagram of the cross section of the container. So this is what the container looks like. So if this is E, it means that this length is also E, this length is E, and the height, the perpendicular height here is each. Now what they want from us here, they want to find the perpendicular height each in terms of E, right? That's this height here. Now if this is E and this is E here, right? Now, that perpendicular height, this distance from this point here to this point here has to be a half E. It's E over 2, and therefore this has to also be E over 2, right? Now, the next thing they want, they want to know what is the perpendicular height in terms of E. That's this. So you have a right angle triangle here, which is this, this, and this, right? So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem in order to come up with that expression. Right, because it's a right angle triangle. Now, how I usually teach this in class, I usually tell my students, think of it as my hypotenuse squared, which is A squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So it's gonna be H squared plus A over two squared, right? Now the thing is they want H in terms of E. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write this as H squared plus A over two squared is equal to a squared so therefore h squared plus now be careful how you're squaring this right this is going to be a squared over 4 which is equal to a squared so therefore h squared is going to be equal to a squared minus a squared over 4 right now h squared here is going to be equal to so some students might look at this and be like, well, sir, I'm not sure what to do. A squared minus E squared over 4 is equivalent to saying E squared minus a quarter E squared, right? Which will give me three quarter E squared. So some of you all might look at it and be able to figure that out easily. Some of you all may have problems with that. So I can do it this way. This can be written as E squared open brackets 1 minus a quarter, right? If I factor it, factorize it, sorry. So this is going to give me 8 squared is equal to 1 minus a quarter is 3 quarter. So this is going to give me 3 quarter a squared. And therefore h is equal to the square root of 3 quarter a squared. Right? And this can be written as the square root of 3 quarter multiplied by e. Right? So this is my perpendicular height in terms of E. It's the square root of 3 quarter multiplied by E. Now the next part now, they want us to show that the area of the triangular cross section in terms of E is given by this here, right? And they give us a little note here, right? Which we may need at some point, I guess. Um, so the area of the triangle, so the area of the triangle so you all know you should know the formula for the area of a triangle, which is a half multiplied by my base multiplied by my perpendicular height, right? That's essentially how we find area of a triangle. Now, it's going to be a half multiplied by my base of the triangle. So let's go back to the diagram here. The base of my triangle here is actually equal to E. So this here is going to be E multiplied by my perpendicular height. But the thing is, we just worked out an expression for the perpendicular height. That's this here, right? So we're going to use that value now. So it's going to be the square root of 3 quarter multiplied by E. 
So this is going to be the square root of 3 quarter, right, multiplied by e. So what this is going to give us here now, this is going to give us a half, right, multiply, I'm just going to rearrange the order in which I'm doing this, by 3 quarter multiplied by e by e is going to give me e squared. Now, my expression doesn't look exactly like what they have as yet. So it's going to be a half. Now, the square root of 3 quarter can be written as the square root of 3 divided by 2, right, multiplied by e squared. So this is going to give me square root of 3 over 4 multiplied by e squared, which is exactly what they told us to prove. This is what they told us to prove, right? So for those of you who are not sure what I did here, the square root of 3 quarter can be written as the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 4, which is equal to the square root of 3 divided by 2, right? So that's how I got um, this here. That's how I got this. Right? So I've just proven what they asked us to prove. Next part. They want us to determine in terms of A, the volume of the container. So they want the volume of the container. If you have a container like this, right? Because you have a uniform cross-section, my volume is going to be equal to uh, my base area, right? My base area multiplied by my height of this cylinder. I'm sorry, this, um, of this vessel here. Right? Um, so let's see, we just worked out the area. The area, we got this answer here, right? And so we want volume of the container. Right? Is equal to my base area multiplied by my height. That's what I'm going to use. So my base area, we just worked out that. We got um, square root of 3 over 4 e squared. So we got the square root of 3 over 4 e squared. That's what my, that was my base area. Multiply by the height of the cylinder. They told us the height of the cylinder is actually equal to 3 e. So this is going to be 3 e. Right? Now we need to simplify this. If we simplify this, we're going to get 3 square root of 3 over 4 e squared by e is going to give me e cubed. Right? So this is going to be my answer here. Um, do we need... Yeah, so we can leave our answer like this. Right? I said simplify. This is the best I can do here when it comes to simplification. It's 3 root 3 divided by 4 multiplied by e cubed. That's the volume of the container. Right? The next part. So in this part now they're telling us that e is 10 centimeters and they poured oil into the container and it is 800 cm cube. So you're pouring oil into the container, right? Which means that all of this here, this volume here, is going to be equal to 800 cm cube. So this is 800 cm cube, right? And they also told us that E is actually equal to 10 centimeters. So E is 10 centimeters. And they want to know the depth of the oil in the container. So the depth that they're referring to here is this. They want to know this height. Right? They want to know what is that depth. Now, the volume, we know that volume is equal to my cross-sectional area multiplied by length, right? Or my height. So let me change that and put that as height. Right? So it's e by each. So it's e by each. So therefore, each is simply equal to my volume divided by my cross-sectional area. Right? Now the volume of the liquid there is 800, they told us that, right? Divided by my area. Now you just worked out in part, where was that? In this part here, you worked out a, a formula for the area, cross-sectional area, which is root 3 over 4 e squared. So my cross-sectional area was root, the square root of 3 over 4 um, e squared. Let's double check that. Yeah, square root of... 3 divided by 4 e squared. So that's my area. That's my cross-sectional area. But the thing is, you know what e is. E is 10 centimeters. So this is going to be the square root of 3 over 4 multiplied by my area squared, my e squared, sorry, which is 10 squared. Right? Let's see what they give us a piece of information here that we probably could have used. 
Right, so the square root of 3 over 4 is point. Right, so I was wondering why they gave us this piece of information here. So I'm going to use that information now. Right, um, so a lot of the times when I'm working these questions, I'm literally now working the question. Right, um, so let's put this here. So they gave us this piece of information earlier in the question, and I'm going to make use of that now. Right, so I'm in the wrong spot. Hold on. Right, so they gave me this piece of information here, which it can be very useful right now. So the square root of 3 over, over 4 is 0 0.433 multiplied by 10 squared, which is 100. So therefore, this is going to give me 43.3 centimeters squared, right? So my volume divided by my area, so this is going to be 43.3. So when I work this out, I'm going to get a depth of the liquid in that container, right? So 800 divided by 43.3. And what I'm going to get as my height is going to be 18.5 centimeters, right? So that's my height of the oil in the container. Now this next piece now, what do they want here now? The diagram shows the net of the container. So they've drawn the net of the container. So we know that this is A, this is A, this is also A, this is A, this is A, this is E. Right, so the net of the container is if I were to open up the container into a flat sheet, this is what it's going to look like. Right now, what are they telling us here? So, we know the height of the container was equal to 3e, so therefore, this length here is 3e, so therefore, this here is 3e. This also has to be 3e, this also has to be 3e. Right now, show that the area of the net, so we want the total area of the net which will include this triangle here, this triangle here, right? And then this big shape on the inside here, this big shape here. They gave us a hint. They said ABCD is a square, right? ABCD is a square. Now, we can make use of that information. If this length here, if this length here is A, it means that A, here is also A. It also means that here is A, here is A, here is A, right? So basically, I have all the dimensions there. So the area of the net, so the area of the net, right, is equal to um, the area of the two triangles. So the area of the two triangles, right, plus the area of the square. So the area of the two triangles, um, we had already worked on the area of one triangle, which was this here, this value here. Square root 3 over 4 e squared. So this here is the square root of 3 over 4 e squared, right? And since we have two triangles, we're going to have to multiply that by 2, right? So we're multiplying this by 2, because you have two triangles, plus the area of the square. Now the area of a square is side by side. This is one length here, which is 3e, and the other length, right, will be this plus this plus this, which is also 3e. So it is 3e multiplied by 3e, right? Now let's see if we can work that out. So when we multiply the first part here, you're going to end up with square root of 3 over 2a squared plus 3a by 3a is going to give me 9 e squared right now we need to add this up so let's see how we're going to do this now i'm also looking at what we need to prove right i'm also looking at what we need to prove here now i'm going to just write this over slightly because i kind of know how the expression or how the answer is supposed to look like so this is i'm going to just write it over as 9 e squared plus the square root of 3 over 2 e squared. Now I'm going to try to factor out a half e squared because I want my answer to look like what they gave us there. So if I pull out a half e squared, it means that in the bracket this should be 18, right, plus, and then what I'm going to do on the right hand side there, this is just going to be square root of 3, right? 
which is what the access approved, right? So I, I, I can honestly see how this question can be a challenge for some people, right? So we just work the whole of question one, right? Um, in the January 2021 20, paper tree, right? Um, like I said, I do give online um, CSEC math lessons for both form four and form five. You can always um, send me a WhatsApp at this number if you all are interested. All right, so that's it for question one, guys.